What's up guys? In this video, I just wanted to very quickly go over how to go about hiring a media buyer. So a media buyer is someone who actually is running your ads. So someone who'd go into Facebook and basically publish ads on your behalf and your business so that you see them in your feed. And essentially every single marketing agency that you would work with or every agency in general has this position within their team to handle that side of the business. So I want to show you how to hire this yourself so that you can cut the middleman and if you have the bandwidth or capacity, bring this position in-house or have someone outsource do it strictly for you and you will end up saving a lot of money over spending thousands of dollars on paying a monthly retainer to a marketing agency, right? So. I made this document, which I'll attach in the description, but essentially this is a resource showing you best practices when actually going about hiring a media buyer, where to find them, what to post, how to interview them, what exactly to look for. And these are the same principles that I personally use when I'm hiring this for the agency. And I went through this exact process when we hired our in-house media buyer. So firstly, you might be wondering, where do I find these people outsourced? You know, you'll find them anywhere on Facebook groups, Upwork, referrals. You can find them on LinkedIn or Fiverr. And depending on where they are and their ability, they're going to be widely ranging in price. For the outsourced ones, generally for local business and doing things in something like the contracting industry, so like ads for landscaping, pools, kitchen and bath remodeling, you can generally find someone overseas outsourced and pay them anywhere between $200 to $500 per month just to manage your account if they're good. And my favorite ones personally are the Facebook groups. Uh, I've hired a lot of media buyers through Upwork and I've gotten a lot of referrals as well. So to start in the Facebook groups, you can, there's so many groups for these types of roles where people will post. And I have a template uh, of what you can copy and paste to post as far as the industry, you know, what exactly you're looking for, and a form actually that you'll have them fill out so that you can sort of weed people out. And so there are tons of these groups. There's one called, the biggest one I think is called the Ad Buyers Job Board. You can see this one has 33.4 thousand members. If you just type in media buyer on Facebook and you go over to the groups section, right? And you go and see, see all, you can find elite media buyers, media buyers hub, and you can literally post social media marketing, like media buyers mastermind. You can go into any of these groups, post the job description that you're searching for someone in this position to run for this industry and someone will respond and bite. Right. And so that's one way to do it. Another way you can go about hiring is through Upwork. So as you can see, I've hired all the way back to 2022. And essentially all you'll post is, or you can search media buyer and a ton of different positions will show up. Their hourly rates will show you can invite them to apply for your specific job in particular. Upwork's really easy to use and they make it really easy to pay your media buyers. You're usually able to do PayPal and they have a time and they hold funds in escrow if this person does not complete the work that you have instructed them to do. And so there are really just a myriad of different places that you can find these people at. You just have to really look. And the best place to find them is, I'm not gonna say one or the other, but as long as you filter them through and you're able to interview them and you follow these practices, you'll find a good one. So generally, all you need to write is an introduction to yourself, your company, what you guys do and what industry you guys are working in specifically. So for you guys, most of you guys are in home services, contracting, outdoor home services, indoor home services, whatever it may be, um, remodeling. And so You'll post something like we're looking for to take on a team member, um, someone to run Facebook ads. You can do this for Google as well. And 
the qualification form and the, the job app that I make them fill out looks a little bit something like this. So I'll also link this so you guys can copy and paste it. But it's very short, full name, email, phone number, their current role and occupation. I would also ask for location generally as well. And to send over a Loom video, a video like sort of what I'm making right now with my face in the corner, but asking them to introduce themselves, essentially tell, talk about their experience. In this video, you're actually able to, when you watch these back for applicants, you're able to see their English. So you're able to gauge how well you're gonna be able to communicate with them. You're also gonna be able to see their previous experience if they've worked in a similar or the same industry as you before. That's always a green flag. And those people are usually very good to move on to an interview. And during the interview, you just wanna ask general questions like, you know, they are freelancers, you know, and they know how to do this skill of media buying and running ads. Why don't they start their own agency and their own company and kind of gauge their reason based on that. Now, this is going to vary case by case basis and what you guys are looking for as far as culture fit, because I know every organization is different and the way that you guys operate communication styles, team wise are all going to be different. But I leave this up to your guys's discretion, but ask the questions more importantly about their previous work and what they have done, their abilities, because if you're able to gauge how well they can do in an in industry similar to yours or yours, and you can see examples of their ads, examples of their performance, their cost per lead, then you'll get a very good idea of how they're gonna perform for you. And the main goal here is to hire someone that is almost autonomous, right? You wanna be able to hire this rollout give them a myriad of photos and maybe some offers that you want to run and have them be able to put those up. Obviously double check the verbiage because most of these people are not native fluent English speakers. So their grammar might have some mistakes here and there. But so the, the copy and description portion, you might need a proofread. But for the most part, you want this position to be fully automated, right? That's why you're hiring it. Um, and so once you do get to that interview stage, I have a, another document and interview as far as what specific questions to ask them, what to look for when it comes to performance, and then how to actually go about structuring a fee structure that makes sense with them. Most of the time, a monthly fee will be good. You can also offer a performance bonus as an incentive, things like small commissions on closed deals or appointments like 20 bucks per qualified appointment or something. And I'll have a template for a non-disclosure and non-compete contract and you would need to set up communication generally the best form of communication for media buyers is whatsapp and then you would need to set up how you pay them if you're going through upwork it's going to be the most convenient upwork or fiverr those are both places where you can find freelancers and actually do payment through the service and communication so whatever ends up being most convenient for you us personally, as an agency, the way that we pay our media buyers, we pay them an X amount per account that they manage. We have a communication channel through Slack, so they're all integrated within the team in-house. And initially we would message them on WhatsApp. That's how we kind of came about. And then the way that we pay them is off any of the platforms, we pay just through Wise and we pay at the end of each month, just one time, once a month. So I hope this helps. I know it's a lot of information and there's a lot of things that are relatively open-ended. So if you do have any questions in regards to best practices in your specific situation, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always available for the most part. If you want to message me on Facebook or post in the group, then I can easily answer it. And I'd be more than happy to kind of help you find your own media bar. So ciao. See you in the next one.